Now then YouTube, I'm the Toff Man, and welcome today guys, I'm just going to show you uh, the difference between two different recording softwares today. I'm going to use Shadowplay, which is a free to use for any person who has a GeForce card in their system. Um, the GeForce Experience, it's part of that, you will go ahead and download that, it's free, like I said, this is Shadowplay. It is in beta as well, so I'm pretty sure things are going to get changed, and hopefully uh, OpenGL is going to be supported and you can do windowed mode stuff. Stuff, which is the main thing. The main thing for me is windowed mode because a lot of people record Minecraft. You want to have windowed mode in there because that is what people use. Um, very rarely do I go full screen in Minecraft to be able to record uh, stuff. Now I'm going to show you guys actually shadow play just now and then towards the end of the video I will show you what it looks like in fraps. So you can see here we've got 60 FPS, we've got 1080p uh, HD resolution. 50 megabits per second, I don't know if that makes a difference really with uh, recording, I could be totally wrong there. Um, but guys, using H264, which is the codec I believe. So, guys, 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 this apparently, the way that Shadowplay works is it uses your GPU rather than using your CPU. So, you know, you're going to be limited to what your GPU can handle towards what your CPU can handle. So it obviously does mean that the game itself and whatever it is that you're running in the background will run a hell of a lot better because the CPU is not getting clogged up by a recording software, i.e. Fraps, for, for example. However, I have noticed that there is a significant drop in quality. Now let me show you guys. Uh, firstly, how do you get to record in full screen on Minecraft using this? Well, you start off in windowed mode. As you can see, I'm in windowed mode right now. I need to just turn it into full screen using F11, of course, for Minecraft. And Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt. You have now got a full screen Minecraft that's been recorded by the software. Um, Shadow Play, which is fantastic. However, I can definitely tell that I'm recording, as you guys probably can as well. There is a slight jerkiness towards it. Only a slight jerkiness, you know, it is playable and it is watchable, but there is a slight jerkiness towards it, and it would, it looks to me like it's lower than 30 FPS, in all fairness. It looks like it looks like to me that it's lower than 30 FPS. However, if I press F3, you can quite clearly see it's 60 FPS. Not just uh, 60 FPS, but if I was to put max unlimited frame rate on there, I'm on 310 frames per second. Well, it's kind of it, it goes off on one, um, but this should be a lot smoother. This should be a lot smoother. So the the next thing you've got to ask yourself is what exactly is this recording software doing? Why is it saying that I've got so much FPS and why is it looking so jerky, really? I mean, you know, push comes to shove, I can definitely use this. I can definitely use this. You know, and it's very, very good for people that are starting off in Minecraft that want to do a little bit of recording. It's a free software. It's an absolute free software, and as long as you're using some kind of audio along there with it, ooh, I'm in uh, Mad Pack 2 world at the moment, guys. I don't want to be, uh, you know, wandering around too much. I'll probably die instantly. Um, so this is definitely usable. I mean, I'm in a world, though, that I haven't actually got anything running. I should have gone into my Thorncraft and Britannia world. Um, but, guys, this to me is not 60 FPS when I'm, when I'm recording it. And it's not 60 FPS when I look back over the recording of what I've done. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm in 1080p. Maybe I need to drop down to 720 or something like that. I don't know, guys. I, I really don't know. But, this is shadow play. I'm going to swi switch and swap over now to fraps so you can see the difference between the two. And now guys we are on to fraps. Now fraps itself has a limiter on it of whatever you want to uh, to to put into it and it can't do win uh, like full screen mode or at least it can't do for me for uh, you know for for Minecraft at least. I have to have it in windowed mode for it to actually work. This is 1080p, so I've only got a 1920 by 1080 monitor, so it kind of cuts everything off. I've got my toolbar, which is down here. You can't see it, of course, because it captures the window and not the screen. But I do have my toolbar down here, and uh, it kind of gets in the way of my inventory. I can't see what's actually down there. So you can see with this one, it seems smoother. I mean, only a little bit. 
but it does seem smoother to me. However, it is using your CPU, and it will clog up your CPU. So let me have a look on the F3 mode right there. You can see, even though my thing is unlimited, even though I've set Minecraft to be unlimited, as you can see with the max frame rate right there, it will only do 60 FPS. And that's basically because Fraps brings everything down and keeps it at 60 FPS. So, I don't, I don't really know. Which one would you guys go for? I don't know. I really don't know. And uh, it doesn't help actually with this map. Because th this map, I mean, it does, uh, it does kind of kick you in the teeth. Um, does this map for... Uh, for usage of your resources, I know that for a, uh, for a fact, but it will help, I mean, all in all guys, all in all, I think both of them definitely do have their good sides, and both of them definitely do have their bad sides, I've been having problems with fraps recently, and I had problems with fraps on my old computer, and I, I put it down to my old computer, you know, I think, oh, it was my old computer, it's getting, uh, it's being rubbish now, um, and stuff like that, and to a point, that is true. However, I'm having some similar issues with Fraps nowadays, in the fact that sometimes um, Fraps will just kind of crap itself and max out a CPU, and it's like it it won't work from there on. You know, it will be uh, it'll go down to like two FPS, and it'll be a whole bunch of problems, guys. That uh, really we don't want. So this is 1080p. This is 60 FPS. To me. I mean, this doesn't feel like 60 FPS. It will when I've stopped recording, but it just doesn't feel like 60 FPS to me. It feels a little bit juddery than normal. I think it's because, to be fair, guys, it's 1080p. I'll have to do another test with 720p and let you guys see. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you the differences between the two, um, whether or not you wanted to use one or the other, and what kind of uh, what pluses were on one side and what pluses is on the other. Fraps. Uh, fraps is, I, I've always used Fraps, and it's just so simple, so easy to use, um, is Fraps. You just set it up and you go, whereas it took a long time for me to actually figure out how to use Shadowplay properly. So, but now I've, you know, figured out how to use it, I don't think, so, I don't think it's a bad thing. Especially with it being a free, uh, a free thing, and it being made by GeForce. You know, that kind of gives it the edge. That kind of gives it the edge. If you're looking to start out with Minecraft, if you're looking to start out recording, I would definitely recommend to you guys to go out and get that Shadow Play. But this is Fraps, and I've always used Fraps, and uh, we're going to, I'll have to see which one I want to use. I'll have to test it in 720p and uh, and see. But anyway, guys, just wanted to show you this. Until next time, from the top, and as always, stay safe.